Hey, Steve. Uh, this topic kind of reemerged, uh, ironically enough, when Steph and LeBron played with each other in the All-Star game. There was a lot of cool, funny moments between the two. But what have you made uh, just about, you know, the rivalry and some of the battles that they've had amongst each, um, against one another over the past, you know, five, ten years that you've had a front row seat for? Well, there's obviously great respect uh, for each other. Um you know, I think the two of them would uh, would play unbelievably well together. You know, they, their games are so different, but they're both so smart. And and so I think they recognize that. Um, so there's great respect. And um, obviously, when you play in the finals four straight years, there's going to be a rivalry. There's going to be a connection. Um, and uh, I, I thought it was cool seeing them in the All-Star game playing together and, and uh, you know, for the first time, really being, being able to be on the same team. I'm sure they were, they were both looking forward to that and not having to face each other. And a rotation thing, you had Wiggins with them in the first half. I'm sorry, you had Ubre with them in the first half and then you switched it and you had Wiggins, you had Wiggins in the fourth quarter. Was that just a feeling about where Wiggins game was? Was it, was it trying to take advantage of maybe his, he was feeling it offensively a little bit? Uh, I think it came about because of foul trouble, actually, Tim. I, th I think Andrew uh, picked up his fourth – or, uh, yeah, Andrew picked up his – or Kelly – did Kelly pick up his fourth? Andrew picked up his fourth. I Yeah, Andrew picked up his fourth, so we had to take him out mid-third. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. And um, and so Kelly stayed out there. So we just flip-flopped him, which I felt very comfortable doing um, – you know, both guys have spent time in the second unit uh, this year, but that was more necessitated by foul trouble. Steve, you talked about a minute ago, you talked about um, switching Kelly and, and Andrew. How important is it to have those two guys that you can switch kind of at will, especially to your defense? Uh, are you talking about just in general or um, with the second unit? or In general. In general, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, Kelly and Andrew – um, they, those, they're the kind of players you have to have these days. You know, if we came into tonight's game, uh, without both of them, um, we'd have no chance of, of guarding LeBron. Um, that's what it was like last year until we traded for Andrew. We didn't, you know, we lost all our wings from a couple of years ago. And, um, so the, you know, the idea behind trading for Andrew, signing Kelly is, uh, you try to load up on, on big, active wings, athletic wings who can guard multiple positions. That's the name of the game these days. So uh, both guys have been great for us defensively. Uh, I, they're great to coach, um, you know, great teammates. And uh, I think when they set a tone like they did yesterday um, in that Utah game, it, it sort of takes us over the top. So I think both of them are really kind of X factors for us. Steve, you guys won by 12 the other night, or last night, right, yesterday, and you were minus 11 in rebounding. Are you at a point where you've conceded that rebounding is just going to be an ongoing issue for this team? I don't think we can concede, Amani, but uh, I do think it's an area where, um, you know, we're, we're going to struggle uh, at times. I think uh, as James continues to grow and, and, and learn, I think he's going to really help us in that regard. Um, I think he had seven boards in the fourth quarter against the Clippers the other night. I know the game was out of hand, but um, he showed much better rebounding awareness in that game. And um, the, the game is going to slow down for him as he goes. And, and he's probably our best hope to, you know, to really become a better rebounding team. But with that said, um, we can't just concede. We've got to con continue to harp on it and to um, insist on, everybody boxing out and, and taking part on every position. Gasol was kind of tricky for James the first two times around. He's obviously not playing tonight. How do you think, you know, maybe their lack of big man depth uh, changes this matchup? Yeah, I mean, Gasol is such a great uh, player. He's so smart. Uh, he adds a different dimension as a passer from that top of the key. Last game, I think he hit two threes um, right away against us from out there. Um, so they'll, they'll miss him for sure. Um, obviously Davis being out, uh, they've missed him dramatically. Uh, I think they're just a little over 500 since he's been out. If I 
if I read my notes correctly, um, the the game they played against us two weeks ago was probably the best they've played since Davis has been out. So uh, we're expecting that same type of effort tonight. Um, they're uh, you know they're they're still potent, obviously, uh, without their bigs, and uh, we've got to be ready. So it's an important game for us. You know, we uh, put together a really good one yesterday, and now we've got another great team coming in, and um, we've got to try to string together some wins, and and this would be a great one to get. Steve, I think you overlapped with Jared Dudley in your time in Phoenix, and if not, you guys have both been in uh, the NBA uh, for a while now, so I imagine you have some familiarity with with him as a person, as a player. What do you think allowed him to continue to have an impact as a a person, uh, certainly within the Lakers organization, or but just extend his career this long, even though maybe his minutes have dwindled? Yeah, I actually traded for for Jared when I was uh, GM of the Suns, and and uh, what we saw uh, back then was somebody who was really really smart uh, as a player. Um, he just always seemed to be in the right place at the right time, and um, you know he, he was starting to shoot the ball pretty well at that time too. What I didn't know about him was that he's one of the funniest people uh, I've ever been around. And so when he comes to a team, when he came to our team, and and I think when he's gone to every team since, he brings uh, not only an intelligence uh, that that you need in terms of just basketball IQ, but uh, also just a sense of humor and a sense of joy. And uh, teammates love him. And uh, that uh, that can extend your career. Uh, you know, being someone who uh, the coach can count on when you when when you know the coach calls on him and who when your teammates love being around you every day um that can extend your career by years